actors, we're, we're surfers, you know, we're just catching the wave. But the filmmakers and the writers and the producers, you've got to build the wave so the actors can catch it and surf. When did you stop being an actor, Jeremy, and go from in front of the camera to behind the camera as a writer director? Sure. So I, you know, I had continued my acting career all throughout my teen years, up through my early 20s. And I think the last film I did as an actor, I was probably 25. So over 10 years ago. Um, and, and before that, though, you know, I'd, I'd still sort of been acting a few times, you know, for, for friends, for projects where, you know, for instance, actually the last two films I did as an actor were really personal connections. People that I knew who were going to be making a feature film and they were like, listen, we need one last actor for this one last part and we think you can do it. And I'd go in and these were, again, these were friends and I would read for them and, um, you know, they'd be like, great, you're it. And, you know, we'd go off and we'd make the film. So those, th that's actually my last two experiences as an actor. Um, and then, so that was through my early 20s. And I think even during that, I had been sort of experimenting with my friends and we had been sort of like, still wasn't really getting into it. You know, I, I, I was still kind of an actor. And, but like little by little, we had started writing. Um, we had started filming like small webisodes. Um, we had really been, you know, just, just sort of practicing. I feel like people sort of like, at least for me, you know, I had kind of grown up on sets and so I'd seen people doing it. Um, but I hadn't done it myself. And so these were my first sort of like little experiments at like trying to do that myself, shooting it myself and editing it myself and writing it myself and sometimes acting in it myself. And sometimes my friends would be acting in it. Um, and, and so I think it was around that time. So really my early twenties were, were when I stopped being an actor full time, um, and started doing my filmmaking and producing full time. Um, and I started out small, you know, with web series, um, webisodes, sketches. And at that time there was like, you know, a lot of stuff you could do like funny or die or these places where you could, you know, submit your comedy sketches or your webisode sketches. And, and, you know, hopefully you could kind of find an audience or build an audience that way. And, um, that's kind of what we started doing. And then as I sort of progressed and I think a lot of people do that, do it this way where they, you know, you, you kind of get a little bit better and then you make the next one and it's just a little bit better and then the next one's better until finally you're at a place and this is this is where I was and where I was with my my friends at that time where you know we were like okay all of this stuff that we've done has been fun but I think now it's like there's a there's always I feel like a like a a, a switch or like you're you're ready to like go to the next level you know, there's that evolution of like, this was everything I was doing and now I'm going to one up it. And at that time, my friends and I started to make a web series. And one of my friends, one of my collaborators, still my one of my collaborators to this day, which is why I'm talking about relationships too, is that, you know, the people that you meet and your friends and the people that you work with um, are, are, you know, who you know and it's about knowing people, right? Um, but one of my friends had this great idea for a kind of a comedic web series and we could serialize it and break it into many different parts. And his ideas were about these, you know, mobsters from the East Coast who have to come out to the West Coast and it's this sort of fish out of water comedy story. And we were like, great, that's a great idea. Let's go with that. And that became sort of the first real web series we did called Mobsters. 
And I, I, I know it's still available out there on Funny or Die, or I'm sure, I'm sure people, if they're interested, can look it up. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And, and I, I want to say that was the first time we really decided to, you know, step it up or really up our game and go to that next level and really take it seriously. Um, and it, it really worked out well. We had an amazing experience with mobsters and uh, we still like that idea to this day. You know, your ideas are always, they're always there in the back of your head, even if you're not actively working on something now. I, I feel like nothing ever really goes away. It's always there. Um, so we've always, we've always kind of got it in the wings, but um, that was a great experience, a great web series. We learned a lot. We worked with a lot of excellent actors along the way. Um, if people want to look it up, they, I mean, we had excellent guest stars in some of these episodes. We went to some excellent film festivals with some of these webisodes. And I think that was really um, eye-opening to all of us, especially me, to be like, wow, like we could actually make some really excellent stuff if we just you know, put our mind to it. Did you ever regret stepping away from acting? What was part of the allure of making your own stuff not having to go on auditions? It's an interesting question, stepping away from acting. You know, for me, I kind of explained that like when I was younger and when I was getting into acting, for me, it was the actors were the people that I could see. You know, when you're a kid, you're watching film or you're watching television and you see the actors. So I immediately thought, well, I've got to be an actor if I want to be in, in movies. And it was this really interesting thing happened where, you know, when you're on set, you know, for instance, using Dante's Peak as an example, you're on set and it was like a light bulb went off. I mean, it really was like, oh my gosh, like I get it. It's that there are the actors and I'm one of those actors in this situation, but then there's a director and then there's camera operators and there's costumers and there's grips and there's all of these people making these movies that I love and that, you know, the television shows that I love. And it was like, oh, whoa, I get it. Like I'm, I'm starting to realize like you don't just have to be an actor if you love film or television. There are many ways to do this. Um, so for me, you know, I think I, being an actor was sort of almost a means to an end. It sort of got me involved in what I wanted to do, but it wasn't necessarily the only thing I wanted to do. Um, and, and, you know, I continued like that for years, you know, being an actor. And so all throughout my teen years, again, up into my early 20s, I had done, you know, numerous television shows, guest spots. I was, you know, a uh, series regular on a show that ran for seasons. I had done independent films, starred in independent films. But that whole time, you know, you're watching and you're learning and you're observing and you're seeing like all this different stuff happen and all these different jobs that people are doing. And, and, and for me, stepping away from acting was... You know, I, I, I loved acting and still to this day, I love actors and I love what actors do. And it's very easy for me because of my background, directing and producing and, and writing now, it's very easy for me to relate to actors because I know what they're going through. Um, but but I kind of see it as all just, I, I, I always think of myself as just a, a filmmaker, you know, and that can be producing and that can be writing and that can be directing that can even be acting you know I don't think um, specifically there's one category or I have to fit you know only one thing so 
you know, stepping away from acting was, um, it, it just felt like a, a natural progression because what I wanted to do was actually more storytelling um, focused. And, uh, but still to this day, I love acting. I love actors. Who knows? Maybe one day, you know, maybe I'll go back to it. I don't know. Why is being an actor easier than being a filmmaker? I don't, gosh, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if being an actor is easier than being a filmmaker. Um, you know, actors are really, the talent that actors have is so special. It's really an amazing thing because for actors, and, and I think I can say this, I think I've got enough, you know, sort of acting cred behind me that, and, I, and I've worked with some amazing actors, I really have. Um, but the talent that they have is so special. It's a, it's, it's, there's this incredible focus and presence um, for an actor that they are just so in it. You know, they have to be just so, so right, right there. You know what I mean? Their mind can't be wandering and it can't be thinking about something else. And I think for, for filmmakers, I think it's, it's sort of a different mind where your mind does have to sort of be able to focus on multiple things at the same time. Whereas I think acting, you really have to be focused on one thing. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't say it's any easier to do one or the other. I just think that it's, it's a completely different sort of um, discipline and mindset and focus that each one needs. Um, but, but also, you know, it can really depend, you know, now that, cause I have been both an actor and I have worked as a filmmaker and I gotta say, they're both tricky. I mean, they're both difficult, you know, like being an actor is, is its own thing. You really have to get used to auditioning. You have to like auditioning. You have to really feel comfortable doing it. Um, as a filmmaker, you have to get used to pitching. You have to get used to, you know, uh, uh, there's a lot of like personal meeting people. You have to get used to calling people on the phone and like really, you know, being sort of uh, tenacious with that too. Um, but I, I also see like moving ahead as a filmmaker or getting a project off the ground as a filmmaker is also extremely difficult. Um, so I know this because I've tried it and I've had so many projects that are almost there and, and don't quite, um, you know, for whatever reason, all the, you know, get, come to fruition the way I'd, I would like them to. And that same thing can happen to an actor. Um, where you can, you know, almost, you know, you can, you can get the call back, the third call back, the fourth call back, and you're so close and that doesn't really happen. So I just think they're completely different disciplines. I think, but I think both of them are, have, have their own challenges. Do you ever breathe a sigh of relief and say, oh, now I don't have to wait to be picked on. I, I can, I can be the picker. You know, I, I, I do breathe a sigh of relief sometimes that I don't have to wait to be cast in something that I can just go out and make it, you know, myself. And and I will say that that, that freedom is something that is so amazing about being a filmmaker is that you can just go out and do it. You know, you write it, you put the crew together, you produce it, you find the locations, you cast the actors, um, you can, you know, you can work with the editor or you can edit it yourself. But yes, absolutely. Having the freedom to just go out and create is wonderful. And I think, but I think on the same, same token, you're, you're seeing a lot of actors now getting more into that themselves. I think a lot of actors are, you know, sort of taking the reins for themselves and, you know, shooting scenes for themselves or, you know, doing self taping for themselves or even like I've seen a lot of like sketches and stuff on like YouTube or things like that where it's just an actor with their phone and they're kind of shooting both both parts of the scene or they're shooting, you know, 
over the shoulders and they're shooting, you know, they're making it look like they're two different people. So I think, I think, um, I think actors are starting to um, get into that indie filmmaker spirit. But, but yeah, it is, it's an amazing freedom to be able to just go out and start making stuff. And it's funny because I, the last short film that my wife and I made was called The Faceless Man. And um, I remember speaking to our actors and one of our actors just saying, you know, actors, we're, we're surfers, you know, we're just catching the wave. But the filmmakers and the writers and the producers, you've got to build the wave so the actors can catch it and surf. So I, I think, um, you know, they, one hand needs the other, you know, one doesn't exist without the other, but it is, it's, uh, it is nice to, to just go out and do what you want.